All right, guys, welcome back. In the video I made about the Roth IRA, I talked about how that's something that should really be taught in schools. And this video is gonna be along the lines of the same thing, something that I really think should be taught in schools and something that a lot of people will go their entire lives without figuring out and they end up working for the rest of their lives. The idea society has adapted in this day and age is basically in order to get a paycheck, dollar amount is multiplied by the amount of hours you work. So for example, say you earn $25 an hour and you work a standard 40 hour week at your job, that gives you about $1,000 a week before Uncle Sam takes his nice hefty cut. Now let's say you wanna earn more than $1,000 a week. You wanna buy a house, you wanna put some more money towards investments. Basically, bottom line, you need the money. There's three things that really come to mind that you can do. The first thing is that you can work more hours. Now, not everyone might be able to do this at a single job, mainly because if you're on salary, it doesn't matter if you're working 40 hours, 70 hours, 80 hours, 50 hours, it doesn't matter. You're getting paid your standard rate regardless. But even if you do have this opportunity, you might not be the wisest to take advantage of it. And I wanna talk about why that's the case. At first, it might seem great. You might not see a problem with it. You're working more hours, you got all this money, just 60, 70 hour weeks, grind, 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 grind all the time. It's fantastic. But then you start to burn out. And I did this too. I was working all these jobs. It was, I loved it at first, but I really got sick of it really fast because I'd never had any time to do anything. I couldn't see my friends. I couldn't spend any time with my family. It was just annoying. And it was like every day work, 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 work. And it's like, why? Does it ever end? You could even start to get things like a shorter fuse, get frustrated easier, things that never bothered you before that you just brush right off your shoulder. All of a sudden, it's like a crisis in the end of the world. And then on top of that, when you do have a day off, say you work six days a week and you get Sunday off, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to go out with your friends because you're exhausted from working 60 or 70 hours. Now, to some, this might not bother them, especially if you're in your early 20s because you're younger, you have more energy. But what happens when you get into your late 40s or early 50s and you really have your own family started or you just have hobbies you want to be a part of you aren't going to be able to partake in those things because you're always working and you're too tired from work so it's going to take its toll on you eventually the second thing you can do is you can learn a new skill this can be done in a couple of different ways by going to school maybe going to grad school or it's getting a certificate, taking online courses. Basically, you are making yourself more valuable so that an employer or someone else is willing to pay you more for your time. A basic example is in the job description when the employer says they're looking for someone with a two to four year degree. But if you have a bachelor's, you might be able to get paid a little bit more than an associate's because you have that advanced education. These first two solutions are known as active income. Active income is paid for actively working, just like it sounds, or compensation based off of your performance that you just did and you continue to do. Basically, active income can be looked at as wages, commissions, salaries, all of those things. To simplify it even more, active income is something you're only going to earn when you're actively working. So you have to sacrifice more of your time in order to get paid for that. An example of this would be a waitress. A waitress isn't going to get paid, she's not gonna get any tips if she's just sitting at home doing nothing. The more she waitresses, the more tables she takes, the more money she's gonna get which during this time, I don't know how many waitresses are getting those wages. Which brings me to the number three thing you can do and something I think everyone should really do and the whole point of this video, if you need more money, and that's to create a passive income source. By creating a passive income source, you're gonna be able to work today and you're gonna get paid for it tomorrow, you're gonna get paid for it next week, you're gonna get paid for it on the weekends, you're gonna get paid for it when you sleep. And to someone who doesn't know much about it, you're gonna look at it and it might seem a little unconventional and you're gonna be like, well, that's just too good to be true. Why doesn't everyone do that? It's just common sense, right? Wrong. Not everyone understands the whole advantage you can get by creating a passive income source. People are brought up nowadays and they're saying, go to school for 10 years, 80, let's get 80K in student loans, then let's just go work for the man, we'll pay off those loans, take out more debt, we'll do this. No one takes the time to really research and put in the effort to create a passive income source. Now, this is a little confusing, let's look at it this way. Say you move furniture for a living and you work standard hours, Monday, you gotta go move Karen's couch. Imagine if you can move Karen's couch on Monday and get paid for it again on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday and the next Monday just by moving her couch, that one couch on Monday. But no, if you move furniture, you're gonna have to move furniture on Monday, move furniture on Tuesday, and that's what you're gonna get paid for, the stuff you move that specific day. So moving on, and the whole point of this video is to show people that you should be researching passive income sources and you should be willing to create a passive income source that works for you. This can be done in a number of different ways, investing in stocks, researching stocks, investing in dividend stocks, real, investing in real estate, 
a YouTube channel, writing a blog. There are endless numbers of passive income sources that you can create and you can start today with the click of a button. And you're gonna hear people say, oh, I don't know how to pick stocks, I can't do this, I don't know how to film, I don't know how to start a blog. And my question to you is why not? Do you think Warren Buffett 60 years ago or 80 years ago or whenever he started picking stocks, do you think he was able to just go online and figure out which stocks he wanted to pick? No, he couldn't because they didn't have the internet back then. He had to do it manually. He had to look at newspapers, he had to read different articles. It's so much more easier nowadays to start this. All you have to do is change your mindset and take the ceiling off of it and say, okay, instead of saying, I don't know how to do this, say, how can I learn how to do this? Especially during this time of the virus where there's really no distractions when nothing's open and a lot of people aren't working, there's really no reason why someone can't pick up a book or maybe complete some Google searches about how to start a passive income source. Now this might not be the easiest thing in the world to start. It's going to take some time and it's going to take some effort and really not everyone's going to do it. And you're going to watch this video and you're either going to say, I get it, he's right, I want to do it, or you're going to say, this kid's crazy, get him out of here. It's going to be one or the other. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to work a nine to five, Monday to Friday the rest of my life. I want to go and live my life. I want to do different things. I want to travel. There's just so many things I want to do. And everyone wants to escape that nine to five lifestyle. And some people are passionate about their job, but if you're not, then wouldn't you want to just do something you love every day and something you really can grow into something great? Warren Buffett said the best, and I completely agree with this quote, if you can't find a way to make money while you sleep, you're going to work until you die. And in this day and age, I really think that's the case. I really think that's going to happen for a lot of people. And I really hope a lot of people don't take that route. In saying that, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some value out of this. Let me know in the comments down below if you decided to start a passive income source and which one you're starting and how you plan on growing it. And until next time, bye-bye.